What is going on, guys? Welcome to Baruki. Today we will be checking out full of bars. <laughs> the things you gotta do for the tubes. All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome to Baruki. In today's video, we're going to check out different pull-up bar options and help you decide which one you should get. And then at the end of the video, what we're going to do is we're going to grade them. We're going to see which is objectively the best pull-up bar. So if you want to skip to that, I have timestamps in the description below, or you can just like click on the bar here. But let's go to the first pull-up bar, and that's upstairs. Woo! The first pull-up bar that we have is a door attachable pull-up bar. So it's a pull-up bar that is easily removable, right? So in case you don't want it there, you can easily do so. Um, it's super versatile because you can hang it in between almost any doorway. That is for a fact, uh, as long as you have a little bit of a ledge. But even if you don't really have a ledge, you can create one with the metal. So this pull-up bar is super awesome. Also, you can do your chin-ups. Boom! You can do your neutrals. It's just super awesome. And uh, this is really my first purchased pull-up bar ever. As it comes to versatility, you cannot use this for muscle-ups, but you can hang some rings on there and do some ring dips and stuff like that. Where it is restricted is the width of your door frame because you can't do, go very wide. Otherwise, your elbows are going to hit your door frame. But really, this thing could hang in an apartment, something you rent, uh, almost any place that has a door. And most places nowadays do have doors. So you're pretty much covered here. So you're probably wondering, where is the pull-up bar? Well, you silly. The pull-up bar is over there. It looks a little bit rainy. I don't really trust it with this camera, so we are going to film this inside, but we are talking about an outdoor pull-up bar, like the one here. And these types of pull-up bars are just super awesome because they are muscle upable They are fully customizable because you can make them as high as you want. The only downside is you really have to have a garden. You have to have a house where you are allowed to build a pull-up bar onto and you should be able to build a pull-up bar onto so you need like dirt to put in your poles once you check off all these boxes a outdoor pull-up bar is great um, mine unfortunately is not muscle upable because it's um, made in between the trees but that is more aesthetically pleasing and uh, it's not in the way for anything else. So that's why I did what I did. And I also have other pull-up bars where I am able to muscle up on, which we will see in a sec. The biggest advantage of a pull-up bar like this is that you can customize it. It's not super cheap. It's around 50 to $100, depending on the materials that you use. Um, I do recommend if you want to build some, you check out this video here. <laughs> Watch this. Look, look, Marty Mark. Watch the way I start up. I've been going hard, but I can go way harder. Every beat I'm on, yeah, you know that I slaughter, and I'm always looking gorgeous. So, the next pull up bar option is actually a galvanized steel pipe that you just wedge into some sort of ceiling, some sort of wall some sort of place that you find that is suitable to hang up a pull-up bar. So I'm talking about this one here, so let's go to there. Okay, so this is the pull-up bar. So what I used here is I have a wall, which is this wall here. We drill the hole into the wall right above the concrete beam. So this one won't be going anywhere. So we drilled in the bar there, so it's resting on top of the beam. And then we wedged in a little wedge there so that it's tightly secured. And for here, I don't know if that will be visible. So here on the ceiling, 
we used some bolts, two bolts actually, to secure the puller bar tightly in place. So if you're hanging from the puller bar, this one won't be going anywhere. It's just tightly secured. Boom, it's super high, so... Oh, boom! So a great thing about this puller bar is that it's super high up there. What I like about high puller bars is that you're able to hang your feet off of the puller bar without touching the floor. And the main benefit for me is that you can really have a good tension throughout your body without having to bend your knees. And this can be beneficial if you're learning certain stuff. So uh, yeah, this is not hanging comfortably. Let's go back down. Let me show you what I mean when I say you can do pull-ups and hang your legs, boom, like I can do pull-ups, keep my tension throughout my body, boom. this is super awesome, boom, all right, let's take a look at the most expensive but also most versatile option here and that is a puller bar that's attached to a power rack. So obviously if you were to buy this as a puller bar it would be very expensive but obviously I also bought this as a power rack which makes the puller bar a nice add-on to this. So this one in particular has a lot of functionality mainly you have a multi-grip puller bar, so you can have like wide neutral, closed neutral, you have like a V-shape, uh, you have your closed ones, you can go extra wide on these ones. So you have a ton of options here, which I like very much. Also, this bar is knurled, so it has a little bit better grip. So here is a better view of it. This is a very cool and versatile puller bar. Okay, so in the back of the rack, uh, let me put this one aside. So in case you were wondering, what is this thing? Well, it's a rack attachable belt squat machine. There are some videos about this. Go check them out, it's super awesome. But in the back of the power rack, we also have a thick boy puller bar. So it's a very sturdy puller bar. It has a very thick uh, diameter, so it's very good for grip strength. The only problem is that it's very close to the wall because this is like the optimal setup for this rack and it makes it very much unusable really. An alternative but which is not really intended use for this rack is to use this bar here. It acts very well as boom, a puller bar. So to make the list complete there are two puller bars that I don't own that I want to add to this list. The first one is the freestanding puller bar, which in my opinion is awesome if you don't want to use your door frame to hang up a puller bar or if you want to take your puller bar from the inside to the outside, that you can do with a freestanding puller bar. The only downside that I see on these ones is that they tend to be a little bit wobbly, so you have to be careful about that. The other one that I want to talk about is the wall attachable puller bar which is super awesome in my opinion if you find a nice and high wall that doesn't have a ceiling above it you can have an awesome pull up session on those. Uh, very versatile if you place them very well and very carefully you can get a ton of use out of them. So those two are also included in the list that we're going to see right now. So we're going to check out each and every puller bar individually we're going to grade them and then we're going to see which one ends up being the best one of the six. Now keep in mind this is just my opinion so um, you're going to have to do with that. Okay. Okay, so 
As it comes to price, obviously, this one, the galvanized steel pipe wins because that is the cheapest one and the, and the power rack is the most expensive one, so that is getting a one point. So, I'm going to fill on all the rest. Boom, okay. Next up, uh, can we do muscle ups on this? Well, the outdoor puller bar, most definitely you can do muscle ups on them. And then you have, um, you have this one here, this one here, and this one here. These three uh, all depends on your ceiling height or how you place your puller bar. So that one is a bit of a it depends type of deal. A DIY solution. And then the rest is going to be like this, 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 something like that. Okay, rings. So the ability to put rings on your pull-up bar. Now, for me personally, this is the best one. So that's why I choose that one. Um, then we're going to put those two here. Uh, these all depend on your configuration. The higher the bar is, the better it's suitable for rings. That is basically the general idea. So the reason this one gets three is because rings are easily detachable from this puller bar. You can just slide them off to the side. Okay, versatility. This one wins because obviously it's a power rack. So you can do a lot of things with this puller bar. Um, then we have five and four because these also come in configurations with multi-grip puller bars, something that you don't have on the other options. So that makes it more versatile. And now three, two, one. Okay, then the placement, um, six for the standalone puller bar because you can literally place it anywhere you like, you just need the floor space, so that's pretty obvious. Um, this one gets a five because it's also you, you just put it also anywhere you like. You only need a bigger floor space. So that's why it's getting lower points than this one. And um, if you have a door frame, which most people have, this one is also a very good option if it comes to placement. Now, let's count all of these up and let's see which one is the best. So the clear winner is this one here. Boom. So it's obvious that the outdoor backyard pull-up bar is the winner. That is basically also my opinion. I think that pull-up bar is the most awesome of the six options, but obviously your mileage may vary. Maybe for you, uh, some categories weigh in more than another, and that is up to you to decide. So this was my opinion, and I hope you liked it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I hope you got something out of it. And if you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I guess I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Peace.